Welcome to another episode of Excess Gaming Lounge with your host Killer Kawabo. This is SWAT Styles bringing it to you live from Reaper's Game Consoles. Kind of like the headquarters for us right now. And today we're bringing you Mortal Kombat 5, I guess. But well, Mortal Kombat 1 for the next gen, I think. Um, Mortal Kombat, guys, it's such a classic feel. We love it. You love it. Man, the game is great, man. I'm telling you, this is like the best Mortal Kombat game I've played in a long while. I'm going to compare it to 1 and 2 and 3. Great game. And I think we're comparing it to the classic versions more than the Marvel vs. DC or uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC and the Armageddon. The other ones that we played just because it's totally different. It really, it really feels like an SNES game. Uh, just the gaming mechanics, so we'll be talking about a couple things here. Uh, of course, it being classic, and I think Kujo's gonna get into a couple things. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about, of course, the classic feel, like you said. We're also gonna talk about the control schemes. We're gonna talk about the graphics, the backgrounds. We're gonna talk about the character models. We're gonna be talking about, you can't talk about Mortal Kombat, at least we're talking about fatalities. Of course we're going to talk about fatalities. Fatality. <laughs> I mean, I was going to talk about Kratos, because new character in the game, no one expected Kratos to be in a Mortal Kombat. He's a good fit. And we're going to tell you how we feel about Mortal, uh, Kratos in Mortal Kombat. Right, yeah, definitely Kratos is, well, he's a pretty sweet character, of course. I think that they did make a good choice by putting him in the game. Uh, now, will he stack up to the other characters, though? I guess you'll find out at this podcast. Um, real quick, just a shout out to everyone who came out to the GameStop Midnight Launch. Uh, Ezel, Bradley, Mario, of course the XS crew was there. Uh, shout out to the manager of GameStop. Uh, Brian Peck, shout out to you, man. Um, had an uh, awesome set of matches. I wish I was able to face you, um, but can't wait for the next tournament. So uh, we can definitely get in the bracket and see what's going down. So uh, here's Mortal Kombat in our view, I guess. Yeah. So these are our opinions. We'll see what you guys think and uh, hopefully you agree with us. So I wanted to start off uh, by uh, showing you the story mode for those who haven't seen the opening cinematic for whatever reason. Uh, just wanted to talk really about why I think it's the Mortal Kombat 1 the next generation and in all honesty and of course this is my opinion I didn't like any of the Mortal Kombat games um, that have come out I mean Mortal Kombat vs DC was okay I had fun with the characters and it just got really boring really quick and never really picked it up after probably about a month of playing it and Armageddon to me sucked <laughs> it absolutely sucked I mean <laughs> The best Mortal Kombat for me was Deadly Alliance, and that was back on the Xbox and PS2 days, so... But, you know, picking up this game, it's it's amazing. As soon as you pick up the game, it's you, you felt like you went into a time machine and you were back at SNES, uh, playing on the SNES again in, in your basement, or uh, we went to the Midnight Launch, so it was like being in an arcade setting, really, and just <laughs> yeah. playing, and the crowd is there, and everyone's checking out the fatalities. It was awesome. It was awesome. The environments are classic. Those are back. Um, of course, the new ones are amazing too. Um, the control schemes, great. Um, it's just, it feels great, especially if you're a Mortal Kombat fan. Um, if you've been playing it for that long, you know, it just feels like Mortal Kombat one, two, and three again. It's a, it's a great time. Just a classic, great time. Yeah, basically, we was talking about the control schemes. It's real easy to pick up. I mean, I ain't played a Mortal Kombat game since the basically the NES days. So when I played this game, it felt like I was back at home. I was able to pick it up real easy, figure out the super moves. The command list for the super moves is really easy to pull off. The combos are real easy to put off. But I like how they implement it to where you can make very complex combos. You can make real complex combos, and they look fabulous. They look fantastic. It's, it's, it's great. It's, it's real great. Um, the backgrounds, like you said, are great. I, I love all the backgrounds. The character models, I love the way they look after the end of each fight. They look all battered and bruised. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's real beautiful. The graphics in this game are amazing. <laughs> That's 
That's freaking awesome, man. Uh, yeah, again, it's a classic feel. And that's what we really, really like about it. And, you know, for as many times as we're going to say it, it's that's why. You know, it's just amazing. And well, we hope that we can get on that PSN by now to freaking face each other <laughs> online and whatnot to see how the online works. But I have faith that it's going to work real good. I've heard good things on the Xbox. Um, so looking forward to it whenever this damn system decides to come on again. <laughs> well, let's talk about the fatalities, or, or should I say the brutality. Uh, having a great time with those. Uh, some of my favorite scorpions, of course, especially the new one. Uh, I like the classic fatality again. Uh, what are your What are your favorites? What do you think? I like uh, I like Johnny Cage. I like how he knocks the prison's head off, takes the torso, then picks up the head and shows him to him. Crazy man, I, l I love it a lot. Fatalities are beautiful in this game. The environmental ones are back too. Oh yeah, definitely back. I love all the fatalities in this game, especially Kratos. Kratos, that dude is bloody. <laughs> Kratos is back, or Kratos isn't back, but he's for the PS3, and he's a brand new character in this game. Does he stack up? I don't know. Um, a lot of classic Mortal Kombat characters that just define Mortal Kombat and. Obviously, Kratos, if you haven't seen the gameplay of him, or just this is us messing around and some gameplay footage as well, um, he kicks ass, man. He's real slow, he, but, you know, he's kind of reminds me of Jax. He's kind of slow, but if you can definitely string combos, and he, he does have those fast uh, air combos that you can pull off as well. Um, what were you saying about it's, he's bloody, so it's, what is it? <laughs> it's, it's bloody, but it's real satisfying. <laughs> he's really good, like put him in the right hands, and he'd be unstoppable, basically. I mean, he is slow, but he's strong, and he has quick combos. Put him in the right hands, like I said, he's insane. Yeah, Kratos is good. I don't know if he's going to be a competitive player much, um, just because of the, the, the lineup that's already there. Uh, but he's a pretty cool character to just pick up, mess around with, play some casuals. Um, but yeah, Kratos is awesome, man, especially his fatality. I'm, I'm really glad they brought him in there. And his x-ray with all the different uh, weapons he actually has from the game. Uh, God of War is amazing. And, uh, you know, the bloodier God of War gets, he just he just had to be in this game. It's, yeah. it's almost inevitable. Yeah, I think so, too. It was uh, also like how they implemented some of the uh, game from God of War to Mortal Kombat. If you pull off one combo, you even do a button sequence like you did in God of War. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Yeah. Uh, the tag team fights are cool. I'm sure you guys have checked it out. Gameplay mechanics there are look really good. And, um, again, since it's been out for so long, uh, you guys, if you haven't checked out tag team, definitely check it out. It makes for a great competitive mode. Get four players up in that. You know, just go all out all night, kick some ass. And, uh, you know, we love this game. We think uh, that they did a really good job, and hopefully they stay on this track. You know, make it make it great, give us some good downloadable content. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're looking forward to the next one, but not just yet. So, yeah, I ain't, uh, awesome job. I'm not done with Mortal Kombat yet. Can't come up with number two yet. <laughs> Mortal Kombat Legacy, YouTube every Tuesday. So, looking forward to the next episode. Look, look, watch for it on the Excess page on Facebook. There you go, and this is uh, SWAT Style signing off. It's Killer Kuwabo, I'm now offline. Peace out, what's next, bro? Infamous 2. What? <laughs> <laughs>